After a day of repairing cracks on the exterior of the foundation, it was time to move inside to the basement walls. If you haven't already seen that video of the exterior cracks, go check that out. We're using that same technique on the inside as we did the outside. We started by using an angle grinder to widen the cracks along the cinder block wall. We tried to vacuum the dust with the shop vac as we went, but not gonna lie, this was a messy project. It created a ton of dust, so make sure you wear a mask if this is something you ever need to tackle. We went around the entire basement, widening all the cracks and trying to clean up along the way, but at the end just had to take a break while all the dust settled, and then we came back through to clean up again. We ended up widening a lot more cracks than we initially thought we would, but as we looked closer at the walls, we saw more and more areas that we felt needed repaired, which was the next step. Okay, we're finally ready to put in the concrete. So we have the quick break here. Are you ready, babe? I am ready. We knew that we would run out of the quick crete, but it happened a lot quicker than we thought it would. We're gonna actually try a different one. We'll see. We're gonna go look at Home Depot and see what we find. But we might find one that's a little easier to mix. We got a different quick crate. This is the structural repair one. We went with this one because it's gonna give us a little more time to work with. The other one, I was just constantly mixing because what you can use with three minutes or something like that. So it was like, I could only do a little bit at a time, hand it to Chris, and then I was back to mixing again, and I was just, my arm is already tired from mixing, and we've only done this, so. Anyways, this one will give us 20 to 45 minutes. So, we're gonna see how this one goes. And we're gonna try a different technique. Chris has been just like taking it, and push it pushing it in, but right. he got this bag. We got a grout bag. So hopefully we can get this concrete that I can squeeze it through. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna try that So, we dumped it in there, obviously you saw it. We're gonna try it. We, haven't, we didn't pre-test this, so. Uh, we're all gonna find out together if this idea worked. The grout bag ended up working really well. We could see that the concrete was getting all the way in the crack and filling it completely. So we were pretty happy with that adjustment. One thing that we wish that we would have done was go back and sand all of the areas that we ended up patching. You'll see later on in the video that after we painted over them, they kind of stand out because we skipped that step. But to be honest, we were over all of the dust and didn't really want to deal with that again. But it is probably something that we should have done. Today's gonna be a good day. We're finally going to finish the waterproofing of the basement. We have fixed all the cracks. We have moved everything away from the walls. We're gonna go around and scrape just to get any loose stuff off and then we're going to paint on the waterproofing and then we'll finally be able to cross one thing off our list yeah so yeah. we got a gray color we'll see if it makes this basement a little too dark but we didn't want this ugly color or the stark white so yeah here it goes see what happens So 
we can tell where there was moisture issues here. Obviously we had moisture issues everywhere because we saw mold on every wall and our humidifier, once we finally got a robust one in here, brought the humidity from 70% down to now it's consistently in the 30s. So there was a lot of humidity issues, which means there was a lot of water, right? We're going around scraping and there's places where the old waterproofing is just peeling off, which tells us that there was moisture behind that waterproofing. So we're gonna go continue around and just try and get all of that loose stuff off. Uh, there was parts on the new waterproofing at the bottom that's easily peeling off. Should have just researched it and tried to figure out what to do ourselves instead of paying somebody because uh, that's how you know it gets done right, right? <laughs> Oh, while Chris is finishing up the scraping, we thought we were done. We vacuumed up all the perimeter and now we're going to get ready to actually paint. What we're using is this dry lock waterproofing for basements and you can either roll it on or use a brush. So. We think rolling is gonna be easier, but we're gonna start with a brush and we're gonna do all the cut ins and then we'll go back through and do all of the rolling. So this dry lock does say that it needs to be at least 50 degrees in order to apply it, which we're in the basement and ours is 65 degrees, 65 degrees right now. We have a temperature gauge. So we don't have to worry about that. If you were doing exterior, of course, you would have to pay attention to that. And then it says a dry surface, obviously. So, ours is dry. It does say to use either the brush or the roller. It recommends a brush if it's really porous uh, because you can get in, you can kind of smush it in, it says. But we already have a waterproof coating on here. We're just kind of redoing it for uh, patches that we did, the scraping sections that we did, and then also just aesthetics because we don't like this <laughs> kind of yellowish tint. And then we have like a two-tone thing going on here. So we wanted a uniformed look to cover up all of our patches. So that's what we're gonna do here. We have um, this gray dry lock. Let's take a look at it. We also don't have very good ventilation down here. Uh, as you can see, our windows have not been replaced and we can't open them yet. So that's coming soon. But in the meantime, uh, we're gonna continue to wear masks and try not to inhale <laughs> any fumes that I might put off. I hate painting. Chris normally does the painting. I'm a messy painter, we'll see uh. if uh, if I get any paint on myself, I just, it's just not my thing. But there's a lot of painting to do in this house, so I better get used to it. to use a three quarter inch mat. The only difference between this paint and the typical latex paint that you're probably used to is that this one is much thicker. Other than that, it went on pretty much the same. It took us a couple of hours to finish the entire basement, but you guys know painting is just a tedious process and this was no different. As much as I hate painting, I love painting because you get this instant gratification. It's looking really good. I'm liking that we went with a gray instead of the stark white option or the off-white option. 
I think it's looking really good. Is it perfect? No, absolutely not. We never claim to be experts. <laughs> There's a lot of already things that we've caught along the way, like, uh, maybe should have done something with this, but it's gonna be much better. You know, it is, it's a basement. Um, when we finish it, we'll end up doing something different. We'll end up like sheetrocking walls and stuff if we decide to finish it out. But it's looking pretty good. What do you think, Chris? I think it's looking great. Oh, first cut's done. I kind of... <laughs> about an hour and a half. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Watch out. Yeah, about You know, half. at first I started, when we started, I was like, I'm really liking the gray. But now that I see it, uh, I feel like it's a little prison wall-like. <laughs> Chris likes it, though. I think that's good. I, I think I, I like... I like it better than the bright white. And you didn't like the off white. I did like, not. You didn't it was like, like the regular white. So it was like yellow. It looked like This a, was the best option that we had. I don't know. You guys can tell us what you see, what you think. Um I think it's fine. Tell us what you great. think. Put it in the comment. Is it a nice gray? Good enough for a basement? Or kinda looks like a prison wall? <laughs> I've not been in a prison. Me neither, but it's just kind of, I inmate. imagine they have. As an inmate. Anyways, first coat is finished. We have to let it dry for three hours. And since it's already about six, seven o'clock in the evening, um, we'll finish it tomorrow. So let's just give ahead to the finished look, okay? Yeah. Okay, so what do we think? I think overall it went pretty well. It's pretty easy in the grand scheme of things. It does look better being more uniformed. I wouldn't say that I'm 100% happy with the color. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, we'll see, but it does look better. But once we get these windows replaced, which is coming soon, I think we'll definitely be more comfortable with the whole waterproofing in general. We'll be able to store our stuff down here confidently. No more, shouldn't have any more mold issues. So overall success. Whatever she said. <laughs> it went well and check off our list. Waterproofing done. Next up windows. Next up can lights, driveway. next up driveway, next up all the windows, next up yard, deck, chickens, chickens. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for the chickens. Uh, never ending list, but hey, that's what we like. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. See you next time.